My name is Ryan Farrell from Universal Medical, and today I would like to talk to you about attenuation and how it is applied to radiation protection. But first, let's break down attenuation into simple concepts so we can receive a stronger understanding of this process. Attenuation is the combined measurement of absorbed and reflected energy a flux loses after passing through a medium. In simpler terms, how much stopping power a material, like this paper, has on an energy, like this flashlight. As you can see, the light rays are able to penetrate through the paper. When placed behind the darker section of the paper, the black pigments attenuate the light rays, allowing less light to travel through the medium. Because energy can come in many forms, such as sound, light, or radiation, attenuation becomes an important concept to understand in order to develop today's technologies. At a molecular level, radiation has the ability to cause harm to the human body. When a radiation wave comes into contact with an atom, it will knock an electron out of its orbit, depending on how much strength the wave has and the atom it's colliding with turning the atom into an ion, or also known as an electrically charged atom. This electrically charged atom can mutate cells causing cancer or birth defects. With the same concept that sunglasses can attenuate light rays and microphones can attenuate sound, we shield ourselves with materials that can attenuate radiation. The elements that do attenuate radiation well are the metals. Because metals have a strong atom makeup, their ability to stop a radiation ray is much greater than that of wood or foam. We mix metals like tin, lead, and bismuth with PVCs to create a flexible matrix. This matrix is then cut into different shapes and layered to make up the protective clothing we have today. With this strong understanding of attenuation, Technology allows doctors to adjust the amount of radiation needed while still obtaining optimal results. The attenuation concept is the driving force behind radiation technology and has allowed us to continue our advances in medical imaging. Well, we hope this video on attenuation answered all your questions. If you do have any more, please feel free to comment on our comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.